The Premier League 2021 season is upon us. Mark Ogden joining us now on ESPN FC to give us his predictions for the games in the first round. And we will begin with Fulham against Arsenal. You've gone for an Arsenal win here, Mark. You've gone for 3-0. Yeah, you know, Fulham's first game back in the Premier League. Arsenal, you know, they've got a great attacking lineup, and they've obviously brought more defensive organisation as well under Mikel Arteta. So for the first game back in the Premier League, it's a tough one for Fulham. It really is. And especially with no fans at Graven Cottage. So... I think Arsenal win this comfortably. It'll be a steep learning curve for Fulham. Crystal Palace against Southampton. You've got another away win here. With yeah, the Saints Pal winning. That's because Palace ended last season so badly. And, you know, they, they, had, they had a real kind of uh, run of defeats. And I think that there's been such a short gap between seasons finishing and starting that I think Southampton, who finished it well, were just, you know, carrying as they were. So I, th I think it'll be a long season for Palace. So I think Southampton win this one easily as well. Uh, interested in the next one, West Ham against Newcastle. You've got Newcastle beating them 2-1. Yeah, I, simply, I think Newcastle have made some good signings in the last few weeks. You know, Callum Wilson uh, will score goals. They've, they've really addressed that problem there because Joe Linton last season was, was hopeless as a, as a centre-forward number nine. So I just think Newcastle's signings have been impressive. And have you seen the, the goal that West Ham conceded? I think it was against Bournemouth in pre-season last week. You realise why I'm not tipping West Ham to win. It was absolute schoolboy defending. So West Ham don't look good at the moment. Yeah, it's not going out too much on a limb to say Liverpool will get a home win in their first game back in the Premier League. But it's up against Leeds and you've gone for them to beat them 3-0. Why? Yeah, you know, again, I just think for a newly promoted team to, fee, to face Liverpool away, it's just the well, it's, it's possibly the best possible start because you just get, you know, get it out of the way now, get out that defeated Anfield. But I, I just think for Leeds, you know, it's such a huge gap jump to make from championship to facing, you know, a team with champions of Europe like less than 12 months ago. So I think that Liverpool win this easily. I think for Leeds, it's a, it's a baptism of fire. But, you know, we'll have a better idea of Leeds after two or three weeks, I think. But Anfield away, no chance. I thought Marcelo Bielsa might have something up his sleeve, you know. You never know. Especially well, that's what I'm worried about because when he, if he has something <laughs> up his sleeve, it might go horribly wrong. I just think, you know, just get this one out of the way. Take your medicine and play. Try and win your home games. All right. Uh, West Brom against Leicester. You've got a 3-1 away win for Leicester. Yeah, another promoted team with a tough start. You know, Leicester just missed out of the Champions League last season. Leicester, for me, are a great counter-attacking side under Brendan Rodgers. Jamie Vardy's still there scoring goals. I think West Brom, again, they'll come into the division facing one of the best teams in the Premier League. West Brom just have to, you know, just learn the lessons quickly. But I think this, for, for me, it's a tough start for West Brom, especially with no fans in at the Hawthorns as well. So I think Leicester win this quite, quite comfortably. You've got Spurs to beat Everton. That's an interesting one. What made you pick them? <sighs> yeah, I, I just think Spurs are at home. I, you know, it's, it's a tough one to call between these two. Everton have made some great signings. Obviously, James Rodriguez is, is the standout signing. So I think Everton will be much better this season than Carlo Ancelotti. But I'm not sure they've had enough time yet to actually gel to, to work together. So I think with Everton, we could see... A lot of new players coming together, maybe a bit of confusion at the start. I just think Tottenham, you know, they'll be organising the Mourinho. I just think it's a, it's a home win, but it'll be close. At Chelsea are away at Brighton. You've got Chelsea winning it 3-1. I mean, how can you say that Chelsea won't win a game at the moment with the, the attacking talent they've got? And, you know, Brighton, again, had an up and down run towards the end of last season. I know they stayed up, but they still, they were quite vulnerable against the big sides that United and, and Liverpool beat them quite easily. So, I think Chelsea, with all their firepower, will go to Brighton and just make the perfect start to the season. I did notice, though, that you didn't think they'd keep a clean sheet. So, I did spot <laughs> that one. <laughs> the only draw you've gone for is Sheffield United against Wolves. So, why is that one going to end in a 1-1 draw, in your opinion? Well, you know, Sheffield United, for me, I think they beat Wolves towards the end of last season. It was a tight game. And, you know, both these sides are pretty well organised defensively. And I, I don't see either giving much away. And I think they'll both be keen not to lose at the start of the season. They won't want to be... It'll be I think it'll be quite cagey. I think, I think Sheffield United will want to prove that last season wasn't a fluke, that they had such a good campaign. Wolves have lost a couple of players, a couple of key players. And, again, you know, they'll be keen to keep on track of the progress they've made in recent years under Nuno. So, I just think it'll be a, key, a cagey game. Um, I just don't see many goals in it, to be honest. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.